Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a late upload tonight because there was a big mistake made by EA Sports inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team on this game on Thursday. They messed up the correct version of cards that were supposed to be in packs with the foot versus ice cards that are supposed to be in packs until Friday the 17th. For some reason, they were taken out of packs for a time period, and this is where the issue lies within. And there's a lot of people that were packing the gold card of Gabriel Jesus instead of the ice version, right? That's where the issue is today. I want to talk about this because there's going to potentially be another market crash on these cards because EA has plans to compensate those people that were affected and pack the wrong version of these cards on this game. And I'm going to talk about how that could impact the game how they could do the compensation differently and also just kind of talk through the situation as well. It's been a bad week for EA. There's been so many mistakes that they have made this week with this game, small and big. Uh, and this one is kind of like, this is the biggest one for sure because it was about two hours long where these foot versus ice cards were out of packs when they should have been in packs. And there's going to be so many people, if you think about it, that packed the gold versions of these cards that have foot versus ice versus ice versions because gold cards are so much more packable than a promo card. 2.2% chance it's been fixed now as of course you see here with the promo cards. But let's start from the top, right? What is this issue? Let's start from the top and talk about what happened on FIFA that caused this, right? So Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, 1 p.m. Eastern, my time, the normal content drop, right? I was checking the store for preview packs to see what promo packs had been dropped. And we checked the pack probabilities and we saw that there were there was no percentage listed for the foot versus ice cards, which when you see this and nothing listed there, that literally means they're not in packs, right? So we went to Twitter and we confirmed this theory by seeing that many people, Bates in here included, were packing the gold version of those cards that were supposed to be a promo item. And you see that Bateson in this picture is very excited because he knows what was potentially coming. And people are trying to manipulate this mistake by EA a little bit by opening packs during this time because this happened earlier this week as well. And EA said, hey, we're going to give you the correct version of the card uh, that you packed, right? So Bateson is happy here. And a lot of people are happy because they're going to be getting compensated. And we'll look at that EA statement in a second. But look at this pack. This person opened a pack and got Adama Traore and Gabriel Jesus in the same pack. That means, according to this EA statement, they're going to get both of those back in the foot versus ice version whenever EA goes and uh, gives those out. So let's look at EA's response to this big mistake that they made. We're aware of reports of players receiving base version of ice versus player items. So the gold version of, of course, Adama, Gabriel Jesus, and basically... All the different cards that are in this team, Joe Gomez, Kunde, Valverde, Rashford, all of those cards were golds, not their ice versions. A fix was made and going forward, players will no longer be impacted. So as we saw, they're in, they're in packs now that has been fixed. Um, we will be reaching out. This is where it gets good. We will be reaching out to previously impacted players in game to provide the correct content. This may take some time. Time. So while this was happening, and as you can see, I tweeted this out at 1.06 p.m. And then they tweeted this at 2.57. So it was basically a whole two hours that the gold versions of these ice cards were in packs. Now, two hours is a long time. And of course, as I mentioned, this happened earlier in the week as well. Earlier in the week on Monday, this is the EA tweet that was uh, read out. We're aware of reports of players receiving the incorrect version of versus player items. They had the fire cards and the ice cards in packs at the same time when it was supposed to be just the ice cards. And they also said we'll be reaching out to previously impacted players to provide the correct content. Now, they haven't finished doing this yet. And that's going to also read into our point of why it's probably going to take at least a few days for EA to fix this issue right? Uh, but it's the same thing, right? If you packed a gold card in that two hour window, if you packed a gold version of any of the cards that was supposed to be a promo item, it sounds like you are going to be compensated with that ice version of the card. Now, the reason why EA does this is it's kind of like false advertising, right? Because all over their game, all over the website, it's plastered everywhere that it says the foot versus ice cards are supposed to be in packs from Monday at 6 p.m. UK until Friday at 6 p.m. UK. 
And with this little two hour window here where they were not in packs causing this mistake, that is not true, right? So they have to kind of compensate you because at, in the moment in time, if you were impacted by packing one of these players that should have been an ice card, uh, then you are owed the item that you were technically supposed to receive. So that's why this compensation is taking place. It like I was opening packs during this time frame, right? And I was along with a lot of other people realizing that hey, EA is probably going to do some compensation like they did earlier in the week with this situation. So I was opening marquee matchups, I was opening some league SBC packs. I think I opened like five or six packs in general. Um and I, I didn't pack anything, right? I, I didn't pack anything. I even think I did an upgrade pack. Uh, I didn't pack any of the gold items that, of the foot versus cards, which is unfortunate. So I won't be getting any compensation. But if you did, and maybe you did without even knowing it, you are going to be getting one of these cards, as it sounds, unless EA is going to change what they said. And, and I don't think EA is giving back the packs here, right? I think EA is going to be giving back these specific items because that's what they've done previously in a situation like this. Now, let's roll it back to a situation where this happened earlier this year. Remember the first base icon upgrade pack that came out? Well, some people were packing mid versions. So Balak, Pele, there were people that were packing mid Pele out of the very first um, base icon upgrade SBC. And so what EA did was they let you keep the mid Pele, their mistake, right? This is one of those scenarios where you can really benefit from this, this EA type of mistake. You got to keep the mid Pele and then they also compensated you by giving you a base version of Pele as well. Also, you know, you might think, okay, it's kind of useless. Now I have mid and base Pele, but okay. But basically that's kind of the scenario that EA operates on in this sort of situation, right? It's like false advertising. You were supposed to get this. Instead, you got this. But everywhere we say that you're supposed to get this, so we're going to compensate you with this so that we don't get sued or whatever. I don't know. But this is one of the things that EA does not take lightly. When there's mistakes like this, when they have the wrong versions of cards in packs, usually they end up giving you that correct version that you were supposed to receive. Um, they, they compensate you, right? They give it back to you. And this is where the potential market drop could be happening with these ice cards because these ice cards were down a lot from lightning rounds on Wednesday to uh, the division rivals rewards. Uh, these cards were down a lot, right? Of course, they're now back in packs again and getting packed and supplied anyway. But this is where the market could really crash with these ice cards because think about it, right? There's a what? 2.2% chance out of the 45k packs that you pack one of these cards. Not very many people. I haven't packed any of these cards this week, right? But think about how common it is to pack somebody like Gold Gabriel Jesus, Gold Adama Traore as a 78 rated card. There were so many people that were opening packs because they knew the situation might happen and they were hoping to have a pack like this where they packed a Gabriel Jesus or where they packed an Adama Traore or both, two cards in one pack to hopefully get compensated with the ice version. So EA is gonna be distributing so many of these cards on the market. Now, it's not gonna take like 12 hours, right? Again, as I saw, and as we looked at, the the compensation that took place from earlier this week, it was on Monday, right? It was on Monday, December 13th, and they have still not provided the correct compensation, right? It has not happened yet because they're gonna be giving out a lot of fire cards um, when, or sorry, they're gonna be giving out ice cards when the fire cards were still in packs, right? See, this guy responds to the tweet and says, hey, uh, this guy was supposed to be the ice version of Claude Maurice, not the fire version. So these, these ice cards are basically getting supplied twice from two different mistakes earlier on in this week. And this is the thing I wanna talk about. How it could crash the market is, some of these people pack these cards tradable, right? Gold Gabriel Jesus is worth like what? Two, three thousand coins on this game versus Ice Gabriel Jesus is a nine hundred thousand coin card. Think about all the people that packed Gold Gabriel Jesus that are going to get that item back, either tradable or untradable. I think the way that EA would do this is if you packed this card, like in this pack, it was untradable, right? An untradable Traore and an untradable Jesus. If you packed one of these cards as a gold item, tradable or untradable, you should be getting the card back tradable or untradable. Now, I think there is a way that EA might do this where they might give you the card back untradable regardless of however you packed it. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. It might only be untradable supply. 
but especially if they give Bateson, who packed this card as a tradable Gabriel Jesus, if they give him a tradable ice version of Gabriel Jesus, that's going to destroy the entire market of these ice cards because all of them are going to have so much supply on the market from EA compensating people. And that's where the market crash could come in here. So again, when is this going to happen? When is this like compensation going to happen? There's going to be a message that pops up in game. That's usually what happens. It said, hey, uh, you packed the wrong version of this item. We are compensating you. Go to the store to get this card, right? And it'll show up in your unassigned and it'll be there for you. That's if you packed one of these cards, that's how it's gonna work for you. And um, if there's tradable versions, we're gonna have to wait and see what EA do because we don't know how exactly they're going to compensate. But if they give back tradable versions, then these cards are going to get sold off and they're gonna drop in price like crazy. And I mean like crazy because think about how, again, more common it is to pack a gold version of a card than a promo version. So all these cards are going to drop. I know they're going out of packs. If I were you, let's say you wanted to buy Gold Correa for your team, not Gold Correa, Ice Correa, right? This guy is what, 200 and just over 200,000 coins. I would I would be holding off. I would not be buying these cards right now unless it was like, hey, I'm going to go play three or four games of Foot Champs. Um, let me go buy Correa um, and then sell them right afterwards. That's kind of the only thing. I would be very careful with these cards because the potential for them to drop is looming, right? It's kind of looming in the background. Now, the big question is, when is EA gonna do this, right? When is EA going to compensate? We don't have the answer to that question because again, on Monday, they had a similar issue and they still had not compensated people that packed the wrong cards on Monday with the wrong version of the fire slash ice versus cards. They still haven't compensated people for that. So. This might not actually take place for a whole nother week or, you know, five to 10 days would be like a, like a forecast, I guess you could say five to 10 days. I feel like it's how long it would take them to figure this all out because think about it. They have to go back in and find out which players pack these cards on their accounts. Now, if you went out and bought a version of gold Adama Triari that was just packed, I mean, I don't think that uh, you're going to get compensated for that. Now, if you packed a gold Gabriel Jesus and sold it, I, I don't know. Like that's that's one for me where I'm not sure. Like let's say you packed gold Gabriel Jesus instead of getting his ice card, but you sold the item because you're like, why did I get this? Or you quick sold the item. Um, I still think you should get compensated, but I, I don't know the answer to that, right? That's, that's a really tricky thing. And we're going to find out a lot about this sort of scenario when it happens later on this week from hearing on people that sold the card or... Um, pack the card and then sold it or quick sold it and then or those that packed it and held on to it if they were treated any differently which they shouldn't be um, but we'll see and it's going to take ea a long time to fix this because again there's a lot of people that were impacted by this now i know some of you guys might be upset because you're like man i was opening packs or i spent fever points during that time frame and the cards that they said that were going to be in packs even though i didn't pack one were not available and you know Technically, there was an error there too, right? Well, yes, but since you weren't directly impacted by the random pack gambling situation that goes on in the game, you're not going to get compensated because you didn't have any um, interaction in game with the, you know, any of the foot ice cards or their gold version. So that's the biggest unfortunate piece to this, that if you were opening packs like myself, trying to pack one of these cards because you were hoping to get compensated or even you were just opening packs with FIFA points, you're and you didn't pack one of these cards then you're not gonna get any compensation for it so uh that's kind of the bad part about it but i would seriously stay away from these cards i mean the promo was not very hyped anyway and with all the mistakes that happened in this past week i mean it's just been really really bad it's been really really bad um we'll take a look at some of those here in just a second but one final word on these cards again Extreme caution is what I would say. Proceed with extreme caution if you want to buy any of these cards for Weekend League uh, and try them out and use them. Um, you know, a safer bet would to be buy the fire item, uh, which those are up in price because, of course, they have uh, they have been out of packs for a little bit. Some of them have dipped down, but a lot of the uh, fire versions, uh, Rashford is like 100K more than his um, ice version. Valverde is like 300,000 coins more than his ice version. Jesus is uh, almost 120,000 coins above what his ice version is. These cards, you don't have to worry about anything crazy happening with those, but you know, when all of these versus ice cards get impacted, like let's say this Gabriel Jesus, like he might drop to like 700K if they give back tradable cards 
um, from people that packed them tradable from packs when the gold cards were in packs, you know, these cards could really drop a lot. And that's the big fear. And it, we're just kind of waiting to see how EA is going to compensate, compensate whether it's tradable or untradable to figure out how that's going to impact the market. I think it will drop these prices regardless. Um, but if it's all untradable, it will definitely have a less impact than if there are tradable versions released. So uh, just the fact that there is so much er errors been, that have been going on this week in this game too, just has people definitely upset, right? You've had the incorrect versions on Monday with the fire and the ice cards being in packs. Uh, the servers went down uh, earlier this week. The uh, issue with the next gen item, you guys remember the next gen packs, right? And all these players like the Mbappe, there's two Mbappes on Footbin right now because EA messed up with when they released these packs, the Mbappe item was supposed to be a left wing. The issue mentioned above was that Kylian Mbappe was incorrectly set to a striker when he was supposed to be a left wing. So they paused the packs, then they re-released them. Uh, and so, yeah, like people were packing the striker version of this Mbappe. And uh, is, again, as it says, impacted players will be contacted in game. So people that got a striker version of Mbappe are probably gonna get a left wing one as well it's just crazy right and then another issue that they had this week um was with the store a visual glitch that was causing all of your packs to like stack behind each other and be invisible so if you had like a thousand sa uh, saved packs for team of the year or maybe even like a hundred packs um they were like hiding you'd only saw one and then you'd open it and another one would appear but you don't know which one it would be so there's just been so many issues this week, right? Like, look at this. This tweet says it all. You are investigating a new issue daily. Literally, it feels like every single day this week, there's been an issue with FIFA. And that's just, it's pain, right? Hopefully this next week with the winter wild cards promo is not like that at all. Hopefully they get their ducks in a row and get things figured out because it has been, it's been a pain this past week. So that's the whole scenario that went on. And I just wanted to, again, talk to you about it because especially if you were hoping to buy one of the ice cards for like your team or something like that, I would really hold off on that because especially with the big promo coming, winter wild cards, the SBCs that are gonna be a part of it, it sounds like are gonna be pretty insane. And just with the impending compensation that is still out there for these cards, uh, there is definitely a chance that they could still drop. So. That's kind of all that this video is. If you have any comments or if you were impacted and you want to ask a question, um, comment down below. And then again, hopefully EA is seeing that all these things that are happening are negative. They're not good. They're impacting the market in the game in ways that EA doesn't want it to be impacted, right? They don't want to have to tweet out and say, oh no, we have another issue. It's bad. It's bad publicity, right? And some people say bad publicity or any publicity is good publicity. But especially when it happens like this over and over and over, this is just making the, the users of FIFA Ultimate Team upset and, and not happy and unhappy with the game. And that hurts EA's pocketbooks probably a little bit, right? Because people that spend FIFA points that didn't pack the cards that they thought they were going to pack, you know, maybe they're less likely to put on FIFA points next time. So that's probably why EA compensates cards too, right? Because they want to they wanna keep people somewhat, uh, I guess, give them the item that they are due so they don't get sued. Uh, but then also... You know, they want to keep pack openers happy so that they keep spending FIFA points. So um, keep an eye out for the next week. We'll definitely talk about this when the compensation happens because it's going to impact the market. And I know a lot of you guys will be getting these cards, um, you know, added to your account uh, with the correct version that should have been released in the first place. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.